assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo technical developer in this video we are going to talk about the record rules uh, this is our third video on the topic security in Odoo in the previous video we have discussed about the access rights and group based security so access rights and group based security is used uh, to aid uh, security uh, for a model and inside a model the access rights is applicable for all the records of that model and uh, record rule is a bit different than the access rights uh, record rule is used for the subset of records of the given model like it will not be applicable on all the records but it depends on the domain that you add uh, on the record rule so record rule is a record of the model ir dot record so whenever you create a new record rule you will have to define the the record in the ir dot record rule and uh, i will show you that how you can edit it through xml file and is associated to a model you will have to define the model that on which model you want to uh, apply this record rule and a number of groups uh, like the security group so you need to mention the security group uh, for the record rule if you don't add any uh, group then the record rule will be global so permission to which the restrictions applies like uh, uh, if you add any uh, record group uh, any security group so you can add multiple security groups so uh, to which it uh, will apply the restrictions and a domain and you will have to add a domain uh, for that record rule that uh, to which records you want to apply this record rule so uh, for example here uh, the domain specified to which record the access rights are limited so here is an example of the rule that prevents deletion of leads that are not in cancel so uh, for example uh, for the leads model every user have the access to delete create edit and view the leads but uh, we want to add an extra layer of security that if the lead is not in the cancel state that it should not be deleted so uh, for this purpose we use uh, record rules so notice that the value of the field groups must follow the same condition so as record groups is a many to many field therefore we have to use this uh, uh, convention to add and attach multiple groups so i will uh, demonstrate these uh, record rule security through an example which is mentioned here so uh, for example the exercise for today is a record rule for the model course and this is the course model open academy dot course model and the group open academy manager which we have already added in the previous video i will show you also so what should be the functionality of the record rule that restricts write and unlink access to the responsible of the course so what we want uh in this case we want that uh, any one that is responsible of the course should only be able to edit this course and only uh, uh, delete this course uh, all the other users should not be able to edit and they should not be able to delete so in order to do so we have to use the record rule if a course has no responsible so uh, all users uh, of the group must be able to modify it so for example if uh, the responsible is not defined for any of the course then any user can modify and delete this course any user means that the user that have the uh, access of the open academy manager group so let me show you that which uh, group i am talking about if you haven't watch the previous video so let me show you here and at the bottom you will see that open academy manager is the group that i am talking about so what we will do first create a new rule uh, so in order to create a rule we have to add this code in our xml file 
so let me copy it from here and then uh, paste it in our security file raise groups so the name is a little bit different here it is open academy security slash security dot xml but i have uh, the name is raise groups start xml so you must need to add the record rule below the groups that you have added why you uh, will you have to do this because whenever you uh, upgrade the module the xml file is uh, upgraded and run from top to bottom so it will read uh, this group it will read uh, the code from top to bottom so uh, it will be added first in the database then uh, it will read this one and it uh, should be available in the database before loading so if you add it before this group then it will raise an error message that this group does not exist so if you don't understand this uh, logic then you keep it above this group and then try to update the module so you will get an error message but in this case you will not get an error message because this group is already in the database uh, you will get an error message only in case of the installation so we have added this record rule this is the id of the record rule this is the model that you need to define that uh, ir dot model this will remain always the same and this is the name that you can add uh, any and here you need to define the model which varies on the basis of the condition that you want to add this means that we want to add it for the open academy dot course model which i can show you here that uh, we want to add the record rule for this model so whatever model you add here means that this record rule will be applicable on that model here you have to define the groups uh, so here i have added just one group so if you want to add multiple you can add it and these four are the access rights that you can define here so permission read means that uh, zero permission right is one and so this means that permission read is zero not applicable and permission right is so whenever this condition met then these will uh, be applicable this means that uh, if user is the current login user if responsible user is the current login user or this means r so uh, i will just uh, make a full video on the uh, conditioning and the operators conditional operators in Udo, so that you can understand it better but in this video i'm just going just briefly explain it so this uh, pipe bar is for our purposes and if you don't add anything here then it means that these two are in end operations so if uh either if the responsible id is false means if the responsible id is not defined either the responsible id is the currently logged in user then that user should be able to write and uh, unlink if this condition is not true then uh that record should not be editable for that user so let me just show you this uh, example uh, let me just upgrade the module uh, server start is not uh, needed and uh, let me upgrade the module here like this one and search it and then upgrade it so after the module upgrade i will uh, be able to see the change here so let me check here and this one so after so i got an error message that uh, what is the error message like uh, external id not found in the uh, database in the system this means that uh, our module group name is group manager open academy and here it is only group manager so let me just copy and paste it here open academy is the name of the module so let me upgrade the module again hope so it will work this time 
and uh, after that we will be able to see the change here so let me refresh the page so that the security is applied and let me check so we can see that uh, the courses belong to two uh, users one is mark demo and the other one is mitchell admin so the currently logged user is mitchell admin so let me just check the record of mark demo so if i click the edit button and want to add something more something and click the save button so i will got an error message that you are not uh, you don't have access right access to this record so this is the purpose of the record rule to restrict a certain records on the basis of some condition and uh, the same way i will be able to edit this record because this record met the condition uh, the uh, responsible user is mitchell admin and the login user is also mitchell admin so let me add something here so i will be able to save this record so this is it and if i want to delete this record i will not be able to delete it because this record does not belong to mutual admin so if um, mark demo logged in uh, and then he will be able to only modify this record and this mark demo will not be able to modify this uh, mutual admin record so this is the purpose of uh, record rules and uh, if you need further discussion and further detail uh, on the record rule then uh, please write in the comment i will uh, uh, make another video with some more details thank you